You want to go for a walk? Oh. Want to go for a walk? Yeah? <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Come on. So I'm minding my own business, and this guy decides to just jump on the bed. <laughs> hey, boy, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I don't think I can live life without him at this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. And down they go. And they're gone. <laughs> Look what you did. Are those my socks? What did you do? Because <laughs> he's in the... He's in the kennel right now. So let's go find him. Moose! Oh! Oh, it's time to get out of the cage! You ready, buddy? Oh, 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 you want to get out? Come here, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, boy. Oh, you missed me. You missed me. I'm sorry. I love you, too. <laughs> Somebody went barreling through the mud. And so now has to face the consequences. Isn't that right, big boy? Yeah. That's what happens when you're a big, dirty puppy. Pretty sure I tuckered this one out when I brought him to the dog park. <laughs> yeah, you're tired out today, eh, buddy? Stop eating. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It has been, um, Two weeks since I uploaded my last video and there has been a lot that's been happening in the last little bit this is Sam he is Moose's brother I went to see him uh, when I picked up Moose from the breeder so you're probably asking why is Sam here and where is Moose um, I'll get into the story um, and, uh, if you're, uh, if you're here for the content for, uh, dog fighting and star citizen stuff, um, you know, feel free to click away from this video. This is not about that. Um, but I will say thank you for all the love and support that all you folks have shown me and everyone at the team. And we've made it to 28,000 on YouTube, which is a pretty cool milestone. Isn't that right, Sam? Yeah. He doesn't care. Um... So yeah, thank you so much guys. If you want to continue on with the Core Skills playlist or anything Star Citizen related, feel free to click onto the channel if you're here to listen to uh, some internet space nerd ramble on about stuff. Stick around. <laughs> but um, a, week, a week, I guess 10 days ago, um, Moose had... Uh, I'm not sure how many folks who watch the stream own or have had dogs or uh, pets in general, but losing a pet can be one of the most difficult experiences I think you can experience in life in general. Uh, dogs are such wonderful creatures. <laughs> you know, I love cats too. I, I love Grogu. I've loved all my cats that have come through the stream. And I know a lot of you folks who've been with me for a while now have seen uh, Goose and Linux. So the last three years have been a little tough. We've lost some good co-pilots in the last little bit. You know, uh, we lost Linux when I first started the stream, who's my brother's cat from uh, from the war. So when he came home uh, and he couldn't really take care of him very much, I adopted him. But he developed a, a rare form of intestinal cancer and then eventually passed away. And there's not much we could do about it. Uh, but we gave him a good time when he was here. And then we had 
goose, which I'm sure some of you folks remember. Uh, an eight month year old, or I guess, yeah, he was eight months when he passed away, but he developed what's called feline leukemia, which is a, I wouldn't say relatively common, but it is a form of blood cancer that affects some animals and there is no cure for it. Um, we're not really sure how it gets developed or what happens or um, how to treat it really, other than that you get it. It's not a really fun way to go, right? You know, and then we got Grogu. So Grogu's happy and healthy, thank God, because, uh, you know, having to be there for both those animals, when you care about them so much, you know, being in the room with them when they when they go over can be very difficult. That's why the thing with moose for me was pretty hard. Oh, man. So moose ate a cat toy. And if some of you guys don't know, Samoids have uh, not the, ro the most robust inter internal system. Uh, they are an Arctic breed, so they eat a very specific diet of stuff for many years. So they don't really develop a very robust intestinal tract. It's kind of thin actually, or, or small. And so he ate this cat toy and the squeaker inside the cat toy got stuck and lodged inside his lower intestines. Um, so he was throwing up and not being able to keep food down. It was kind of hard for him. So I thought this, this is not right. So I brought him to the vet. The vet said, well, we got something in there, you know, and it was the emergency vet. Now, I'm not sure how you guys have stuff and maybe wherever your country is, but in Canada, uh, the vets are unregulated. So they, uh, man, they gouge you for every penny you're worth, you know? Uh, so $3,500 later, we had him on an IV. We had some drugs in the system to see if it would, you know, come out naturally. <laughs> uh, but it didn't. So they quoted me $10,000 for surgery. I said, that's insane. I called my local vet, uh, who just so happened to have a vet that came out of retirement to help me out. So she came out of retirement and we did it for a much cheaper price. Uh, and we had good technicians with us. The surgery went off without a hitch. That's why I updated everyone on YouTube and stuff, you know, and, uh, we started the recovery process. Um, now gastro surgery is really risky because it's very dirty, you know, cause it's, you know, wherever the food goes. And um, moose developed a severe infection, which the antibiotics could not treat. Um, and eventually um, he, he was having uh, seizures and uh, he was unable to breathe. And so I made the call to uh, let him go. Oh, fuck, I love that dog. <laughs> ah. Yeah, he was a great dog. He was a great dog. Um, but that's life. That's life, right? Um, life goes on. So, you know, there's only two ways to, I think, get over that kind of trauma is just don't fight it. Just kind of let it go through your system, which I definitely have been letting myself do last week. <laughs> That's why I haven't been streaming or doing much because um, it's important, I think, to make peace with everything, you know, go through everything get all the what if situations out of your mind because the reality is we did the best we could but that's the way she goes luckily enough I, I spoke to the breeder and um, she spoke to my vet and we had a discussion about it uh, and she agrees that you know we did everything we could it wasn't really anybody's fault it's just that's life you know um, so I went to come and see Sam who was Moose's brother uh, who was actually the two, the, you know, when I first went and got Moose, there was two puppies. It was him and his brother. Um, you know, I chose Moose. I don't know why, I just went off a gut feeling. But uh, <laughs> Sam. Sam is wonderful. He is absolutely wonderful. Um, 
So it's going to be really exciting to see him kind of get integrated into the stream and have you guys kind of come with me during the process. So that has been that has been a small update. I know Jump Town's been going on. A lot of folks have been enjoying that, and uh, I expect to be getting back to regular SC content probably uh, coming into the new week. So I, when I started this channel, I promised everybody that I would kind of take everyone along with me on the ride. So what that means to me is, you know, when things happen or when there's mistakes that are made or, you know, just the whole process of going from not, not running a YouTube channel to slowly getting bigger. And I wanted to kind of take everyone with me on that process. I think that's important. And it's not just something to kind of take everyone along through and show like these are the struggles that maybe you might have if you ever decide to run your own channel. But also for me, because I want to catalog where I started and learn and, and, and go through, right? So, and I realize that I probably shouldn't give this my attention, but you know, it's been kind of bugging me. Uh, and so I feel like as long as I can put out my side of the story or at least explain from my point of view what happened, uh, maybe people will understand a bit more as to what's going on, right? Recently, there was a video that was made by a guy called Seven from Liberty Reapers, and it was a video about me logging off during combat, right? Yeah, so at first glance, you watch the video and you're just like, oh, this dude, <laughs> this dude, and I get it. I get it. But I think there's a lot of context to what's going on here, and I think most people just don't even know, right? And so I feel like as long as they understand the context and then they still want to have an opinion about it, that's fine, right? I mean, first of all, I don't, under I don't understand how this, like this, became an issue for people or was even worth people's time. But, you know, anyway. So the context for me is this was in the Persistent Test Universe, so PTU, right? Um, and I got a ping from a good friend of mine that said, hey, by the way, Avenger, you know, you've got a, a bunch of guys that are coming to stream tonight. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this was before it happened. And so, I mean, whatever, right? Like, you know, I got a crime stat. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to attract some attention. It is what it is, right? That's not the issue, right? <laughs> so basically what happened was I traveled from Crusader to Microtech. And there's no comm relay links between those two, right? So what ends up happening is um, they're, you know, watching what I'm, what I'm up to and they all get their guys together and they all warp to Microtech really quick and they meet me where I'm going and obviously we know what happens, right? The thing is I wouldn't have reacted the way I did if it wasn't the, the, like, the type of people that were doing it, right? These guys have been harassing me and the rest of the guys on my team for a while now. They've been really toxic. I mean, this is coming from, you know, the seven guy is the same guy that goes into Battle Royale and brings a whole bunch of alt accounts to come in and farm so he can put himself up on top of the leaderboard right like these are the kind of people you're dealing with you know and getting pinged right before it happened you know knowing that they're watching everything i'm doing and stuff it's just it, it just it's frustrating you know what i mean it's frustrating because for you know me as a streamer it's like you can't make any mistakes like you know that's what it feels like sometimes we're like you make or even if it is like a mistake you know, people will, will take it and they'll, it'll make it so much bigger than it really is, right? <sighs> you know, so I thought, okay, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to ignore it because it's just a bunch of, you know, people trying to get a rise, you know, trying to, you know, basically, you know, just trying to create, they're trying to create a narrative that's just simply not true, right? They want to say that, you know, oh, we were just looking for the crime set and then they came after us. That's not true at all right so it's it's one thing to get killed by someone who's just doing bounty hunting and it's another thing to get killed by a bunch of guys that you know are watching everything you're up to and you know all they have in their mind is to create content to either attack your character or just stick a finger in your face you know and it's disappointing right but you know i never thought that this would be part of the process of you know getting into YouTube content creation and all the stuff that's happened. You know, I asked myself, like, what am I, like, what am I doing this for? <laughs> sometimes I genuinely ask that question because sometimes I think that, you know, I can be a boisterous, bombastic personality about stuff. 
But my heart, I think, is in the right place. I, I genuinely want people to be better at the game and to understand how to play the game better and to make the conscious choice to play in good faith, right? Because the game is the way it is. It's got all kinds of bumps and bruises and issues with it. So it's up to us as a community to kind of give each other a break and be like, all right, well, obviously the game is a certain way. So we're going to try and play the game a little more in line with the way, you know, it is intended to be played. But not all the time people agree with that. And that's fine, I guess. But it just makes for a poor environment for people to, you know, want to get in, right? So... Look, that's my two cents, guys. Um, you know, uh, should I have handled the situation better? Probably. <laughs> you know, even though it was like a blatant stream snipe, which is against the terms and conditions, I'm not going to report it. I don't care. You know, I just want people to understand what really happened and understand that, like, to me, when I watch that video, it's just, it's just clearly, clearly a piece of, like, propaganda. You know what I mean? From a, an organization that is very hostile towards what we're doing here on this channel. I think in a lot of ways they're frustrated or maybe upset that people come here to learn and to get better. I don't know. Maybe that's ego talking. Who knows? But the point is there's more to that. Con like there's there was more context to that situation. I think if people understand, you know, that it was on the PTU, it was blatant, you know, stream snipe shenanigans. You know. It's just, it's unfortunate that people kind of choose stuff to just like grab onto and uh, they don't want to look a little deeper and ask questions to like, well, what's going on here, right? So anyway, um, we should be back to regular YouTube stuff soon. <laughs> and uh, I also wanted to do a quick little shout out. Um, uh, Arden from PAX. Um, has a daughter who has brain cancer and uh, we put up in our one of our recent videos we put up the GoFundMe to help raise money for uh, her treatment and I can say that uh, it did have an effect it did have an effect so if you were one of those folks who had a chance to donate to the GoFundMe thank you so much I mean this is what it's all about right you know internet space drama bullshit aside you know it's about helping each other when we can where we can right um, so I'm going to put the link in the description again for the GoFundMe if you'd like to take a look at it, um, you know, and, and help another brother Star Citizen player out because I think that's what really matters. And uh, I hope you guys understand why I've been away for the last week and a half. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you again for all the support everyone has shown me and, and the rest of the team. Um, I know when I posted about Moose, there was a lot of folks that came out who were, you know, maybe part of groups that weren't really that friendly towards me, but they were there to say, hey, man, I, I know what you're going through, and that sucks. And I really appreciate that. I really do. Because, you know, at the end of the day, all we got is each other, you know, whether we want to, you know, complain and moan and stick fingers in our face and cause tr stress. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, this is, this is our community. This is the star citizen that's going to hopefully go the test of time if it ever releases. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to make a video about some of the AC updates that are coming out, the Arena Commander updates, because the uh, uh, the new AC updates are pretty exciting, you know, so kudos to uh, the AC team and uh, DJ Button and his guys to uh, make an Arena Commander great again, <laughs> you know, and I hope to see all your smiling faces out for the next YouTube, Twitch, and all that stuff, right? Life is precious, guys, and it's very short. So you got to make the most of it when you can. You know, we went and spoke to the breeder, and Sam was available, so we went and picked him up. And so now he is our new co-pilot. And uh, hopefully, a little bit of luck, some lessons learned, nothing will happen to him. He'll have a nice, long, healthy life with all of us here on the stream, guys. It's been a journey for me so far, guys, and I'm really happy to take you along with me. Thank you for listening to my rants in my green screen forest, of course, right? You know, so much green screen. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next video on the next YouTube. 1% every day, folks. See you later.